Okay, I've got a scale model of a house. A scale model of a house where one centimeter is equal to one meter. Now I know that a centimeter is a hundredth of a meter. Take life in my own hands and try and draw a house. Now I'm going to have a length here and a width and a height. And when I make the real house, I'm going to have to make everything bigger. So that L is going to have to be 100 times bigger, that W is going to have to be 100 times bigger, and that H is going to have to be 100 times bigger. Now the question is, what do I need to calculate to figure out how much paint I'll need and how much wood I'll need? And they're actually different. So when we scale this up, all those surfaces are going to be covered with paint, and I'm going to need more paint. And all those construction materials are going to be scaled up and much bigger, and so I'm going to need more wood. Now the wood goes as the volume. The mass of the wood is its density, which is not going to change, times its volume. And the volume is going to go as the length times the width times the height. If this were exactly some kind of rectangular solid, it would be exactly the length times the width times the height. But because we have roofs and possible extra shapes around the back, it's only going to scale that way. So if I double the length, I should double the volume. If I double the width, I should double the volume. If I double the height, I should double the volume. And if I multiply each of them by 100, then I'm going to get 100 cubed times as much, which is a million times as much, which we basically knew as soon as we realized we were after the volume. Because remember, the volume scale is the cube of the length. And so if we increase our length by a factor of 100, then we increase our volume by a factor of 100 cubed. Now, what about paint? Well, paint just covers the surface of things. And the surface of things is an area. And so this area here is a height times a width. This area here is a length times a height, and so on. And we know that area scales as the square of the length. And so we know that the area will go as length squared. And so if we increase our length by a factor of 100, then we'll increase our area by a factor of 100 squared, which is 10,000.